Welcome everybody, I'm the old man, and this is Shatterhand, featuring explosions and action of all kinds. Um, we play as a man with robot hands, who has robot hands for some reason. I cannot remember what that reason is. The mob took his hands, I think? I don't remember. Anyway, Shatterhand. Uh, part of, in my mind, the loose trilogy of dystopian action games for the NES around 90, 91 era. Not actually a trilogy. Um, just uh, three games that have s sort of that similar feel and theme. Uh, Power Blade, Shatterhand, and Vice Project Doom. Uh, again, not actually a trilogy because they're made by different companies, but in my youthful mind... Excuse me, they have always been a trilogy. And so I thought, I, I played the other two, I figure I have to play this one too. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play some Shatterhand. Uh, you'll notice I've picked up a couple boxes that have beta and alpha, ooh, coins. Um, that have beta and alpha on them. Different combinations of those icons will give you different little robot buddies. Um, and I'm not sure what the combinations are. Um, and they just do little things like shoot a sword or uh, what's this going to do? He... Oh, little boomerang thingies. Now, the bad thing about your robot buddy is that he will stop. Ha ha ha. He will... If you stop, he'll stand right in front. If you run, he will go behind you. Of course, this means that when you stop to kill guys, um, don't pick up the grenades, he'll head right headlong into the bad guys, and thus making his usefulness rather short. Little power-up stations there. Can he? Yep, he'll get that last one. Uh, usually, there, there, some of them are better than others. This guy's actually pretty good. Um, and it's a good idea, like I said, good idea to be aware of where your little buddy is. Because he will, uh, he is not afraid to run right into the enemies. And you can, uh, oh good, I'm glad he, uh, I can still fire from, he will still do that. You can jump on the fences, if I can talk correctly. He's stuck around longer than uh, some of the other ones have. And you can punch bullets. Did I say I can punch bullets? I can punch bullets because I'm Shatterhand! What's in here? Oh, Alpha. You can punch them to make them Alpha or Beta, so you can kind of... Oh, poo. I want to get that box. Oh, well. So you can kind of figure out which uh, thingy you want. And here's the first boss. Pretty easy pattern-based boss, for the most part. And I have my robot buddy, I usually don't have him there. And uh, he will cling to the wall at some point. He's almost dead. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Basically duck and punch him. That's the strategy here. He looks like... Kinda looks like M. Bison or something. Wow, this is really sloppy because I'm not really watching where I'm going. But it doesn't matter because he's dead already. Good job, me. And that's the intro stage. You actually get stage select in this one. Uh, now we have, that's area A, we have different, uh, I think there's five different stages and then probably an end stage. And um, that was the intro stage. And so now we shall go to another stage, but not this video. We will do it next video. I will see you then.